to check and see if the washer is leaking from the tub seal, remove the front panel, fill the washer with water, and keep an eye on the center of the transmission post. If the washer is leaking, you will need to replace the top seal. Let me show you how to remove the bad seal and install a new one. Disconnect the washer from the wall outlet. Remove the front panel. Remove the top panel. You need to remove these two screws. Go ahead and remove the two screws. Tap on the sides of the control panel to move it forward. Then bend it up enough to remove the spin drum. Disconnect the damper straps from the tub on the left side. Then disconnect the ones on the right side. This is how you unsnap the top cover. and how you snap it back. Go ahead and unsnap the tub cover all around. Then take it right out. Remove the agitator and the agitator coupler. If you don't know how, watch the video on how to replace the agitator coupler before you do anything else. Before you remove this nut, spray some liquid wrench or penetrating oil and let it soak. As you can see it written on the nut itself, you need to turn this nut clockwise to remove it. And you need to use a wrench like this to remove it and install it. Go ahead and remove the nut. Now mine comes out very easily because I've taken it out a couple times already. Yours might be a little harder. Remember that you need to turn the nut clockwise to remove it because it has left-handed threads. Rock the spin drum from side to side to loosen it, then take it right out. Next you will be removing these two pieces. Use a small hammer to tap the first one right out. Then remove the washer. Clean all the gunk and soap from this area and use a needle nose pliers to grab the seal and yank it right out. Use a towel or a sponge to remove all the excess water from here. Use a piece of fine sandpaper to clean the neck on the transmission. This is the area of the transmission that makes contact with the water seal. So it should be as clean and smooth as possible. 
I use gasket shellac to make the seal seal better. I put a little bit on this side of the seal to make sure that the seal seals properly against the plastic on the tub. That is the way that I always do it and it works for me. Now you can follow the instructions that come with the new seal or you could do it the way that I'm showing you. Put the water seal over the transmission shaft and push it down as far as you can. Take a piece of flat wood and a hammer and start tapping nice and gently the seal all around until it's flush with the tub. Clean any excess of the shellac from the seal on the tub, then let it dry. Use a wire brush or sandpaper to clean the outside base of the spin drum. Also clean the inside too. Put this washer in and push it all the way down until you can't push it no more. And the split ring on the shaft of the transmission like this. And set the spin drum in place. It's gonna feel like it's water inside of the spin drum and it is. The spin drum use water to counterbalance the spin drum when it's spinning. So that's normal, okay? Screwing the top holding nut by hand as far as you could go. Then use the spanner wrench to tighten the knot. Don't forget that this is a left handed thread and to tighten the knot you need to turn it counterclockwise. Make sure the knot is tight, but don't overdo it. Install the agitator coupler and the agitator. Clean the top cover real good and make sure that the water seal is in good condition. Make sure that the top cover is aligned properly and that the tabs are going to close. Set the top cover in place, make sure that it's aligned. Once you got it aligned properly, start pushing down to lock the top cover in place. Lower the controls panel down, make sure that it's in place. And secure it with the two holding screws. Install the top panel and put some water on the washer to see if it's leaking or not. Check and see if the washer has stopped leaking. If it's not leaking anymore, Install the front panel and you're done removing and replacing the top water seal.